Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial video showing you guys how to enter in additional product sets. Shopify has a max varying amount of a hundred. So if you're selling something really niche based like wigs or um, something with a lot of different options, you're going to need a app called Bold App. They are a development company who came out with a solution um, for a problem that remains in the hair industry. Like I said, this is really tailored to if you're selling wigs or if you need a lot of customization to your your uh, your product. So it's not something that comes standard inside of uh, the theme. Um, it's just the app that I downloaded from the App Store. So you just go to the App Store and you visit the App Store and then you'll download product options by Bold. I've already installed it. It has a free 14 day trial. This app is $20 a month. Um, Again, this is something that's very niche based. And if you need this specific option base for your business, then I recommend you getting it so you can make your money back for your business. If you don't want to invest into your business, um, paying this additional $20, then it is a ways that you can do it by toning down on the options and not offering so much customization. So you would have to dial back on your customization if you don't want to pay this $20 a month. All right, so I'm going to go to the app my itself click inside of the app and what you want to do is it gives you an option to create an option set then it also has product condition conditions so this creates losing uh, rules and logic to show based on what the customer select so with this product condition conditions you can charge additional amounts but this is um, more than $20 a month. So if you want to be able to do this, this is the premium service. That one's $39 a month. So that's if you want to upsell based off of option variants. So the standard one is this. You click this. You create your first option set. You would name it. And you can name it services. I usually name it custom wig builder, as you see. I'm going to name this one services. All right. And I'm going to select the product. Click select the product. All right. So then you would select something that has like additional services. So uh, let's say if I wanted to do something that says the lace restoration. All right. I will click lace restoration. And then after I click that, I've already clicked it. I'm going to create a new option. I'm going to add. Um, the option name and I'm going to give a drop down menu so option name would be origin origin or hair origin all right and then this is for the internal reference system names so that's what I would see this is what the customers will see and I want it to be a drop down so the origin is going to be Brazilian Again, to adjust the price, I would have to upgrade. So I'll do Brazilian, India, Malaysian, Peruvian. All right, and then I will save this option set because I'm done with this one now. All right, and then if they need additional services. Right, let's say um, if I wanted to do uh, offer color options, color options, and um, I was giving them, uh, let's say, another drop down. I do drop down and I would name it. So I do single color. Slash toning. All right. So I can't adjust the price because if I adjust the price, I have to get the fee, uh, the premium. All right. So let's exit that. So single color plus toning. Uh, 70. Oh no, sorry. So then two or more colors. Two or more colors.
four way color plus highlights and ombre or highlights so what you guys see me looking at is a service that um, a client sent me some of her services so I'm entering those in so again I could save it as is right boom and then also I can do length so create a new option set so I can do length and then do drop down same thing so I'll say 14 click that 16 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. All right, then I'll save that. So now I got the links in there. All right, I could either even have them upload a picture if I wanted to. I can click this and I can say upload an image, file upload. upload a photo I can do another option if I wanted to I can do a short text anything we need to know All right you can allow them to do some additional text there All right and like I said this is all set and it's pretty much done and then something else that you know additional if your business had like um, you wanted to do upsells, you can do pick existing. Well, not pick existing. I don't I wanted to create a new option. You can give them upsells here. You get what I'm saying? You can put a box and say drop down. You can say um, um, additional services. All right. You can do um, combs. Bands, and then you can adjust the price to charge them extra for some combs and some bands or whatever you can think of so this is limited to your creativity so however creative you are then that's how you can do upsells inside of this form again uh, Shopify does not have something like this this is really niche based um, and our target audience is usually the hair industry so if this is something that you want to do then you can do this um, if not, I'm going to show you the basic way to do this also. So we're going to save that. All right, so it's saved. All right, here's a pro tip. So now I got services, all my services, and I'll have to attach them to the products. So I can duplicate this if I want, or I can edit it, and I can attach it to multiple products. So I can click Review Products, Edit Selection, and I can attach those services that we don't have to do them over again and attach them to multiple different products all at once so now those are show on the product page so what you want to do when you come here I click products all right I'm going to show you the free way on how to do this but it's not going to be as intuitive as the advanced way so right now as you see what I did here um, I did a variant of a closure and a frontal. So if you wanted to go advanced on this product, all right, all right. So what I should have did also in that um, the app, I should did closure and frontal. So I'm going to go back, click here. I'm going to go to create op add options. I'm going to go back to edit this, and I'm going to create a closure and frontal set. So hair type drop down and I'm gonna say is it a closure or is it a frontal right and you would adjust the price based off of that or you can put full lace weave 
so they would click which one it is and you'll put your prices at that accordingly All right so you save that so if I do that here that means it doesn't need to be done inside of here inside of the product you would only do it inside of the bow app so I would delete this information here the variance so you don't want to have any variance in the product if you're using the bow application remember that so make sure you're listening to this video thoroughly It's only about 15 minutes long and if you're trying to have a, a real business then you want to make sure you're paying attention to everything that I'm saying watch this video a couple times so um, again I'm just going to show you another way now let's say we didn't add that app and the app wasn't on the store the standard way would be just doing this you would do length sorry so length 12 enter 14 enter 16 enter 18 enter 20 enter 22 enter 24 enter 26 enter 28 30 as you see we're already getting into a lot of variants then we're getting into origin I keep hitting enter I'm messing up so don't hit enter then I got Brazilian. I'm just gonna put uh, Brazil. I'll just put India. And we just put M for Malaysia. And then P for Peruvian. Right. Now this is being duplicated. This is a lot of variants. And then we're trying to add color services. Color services. Dang! I keep hitting enter. Sorry. So color services, now we got color services. Single color. Toning. All right, single color toning, enter. We got two or more colors, two or more colors. Enter. Full wig color. Plus highlights. Enter. Then you got ombre like this. See, you cannot have more than 100 product variants to save the product. Remove some options to keep. So, if you got something really specific to your business, you can't do this because you can't have more than 100 product items. So you would need that option, like I just showed you for both. So, um, the only way to try to Resolve this without paying the $20. You would have to cut down on some of the inches, cut down on some of the origins, cut down on some of the color options. Or, um, I'm really, that's the only way I can think of is just really getting the app or cut down on some of your options that you want to offer. All right? So, because I cut down on those options, now it would allow me to save it like this because I just took away two options. So then you can go down here and adjust the prices accordingly. So, like for this particular business, uh, she said any length longer than 18 inch is $10 added. So, I would scroll all the way down and I would go to the one that's 18 inches or more and I'll do 95. 95 for India. Then he has to do 95 for two. He says this one's just a little bit convoluted because of all those product options. <laughs> and then, if you're getting into Malaysian, then I would probably do still 95. 95 right and then you got to do 95 for all the 18s and then maybe 105 for all the 20s and then 115 for all the 22s and then 130 for all the 24s etc etc so this is a video explaining how to use the bow app um, I'm going to delete all of these products really quick before the video ends because you got to see what it looks like live right so let me show you what it looks like go to the page visit it all right and what did I do I think I did the lace the I'm not even which one I did the lace rest, rest, restoration I think I did nope the fix up upgrade the upgrade I'm not even sure which one I did hmm. Uh, 
Let me see which product did I do? The lace rest restoration. Okay, lace restoration. All right, so it's not showing there. Hold on. Just checking the extra steps, see if it's something I need to check on. So, I'll put you guys on hold for a second. All right, guys, I'm back. So, um, going back to show you, you would basically select choose service or hover over choose service. The product that I attached this one to was called Lace Restoration. Uh, so, I click this, and then now, as you see, it has the hair origin, Brazilian color options, two or more colors. Choose the length here. They can upload a photo of the wig, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then it has the, the price they added to cart, and then they can buy the service now. All right? Either way. So there we go. That's how you do an advanced product selection. All right. Thank you for watching this video.